Hello my friends and welcome to another video. A few videos back I showed you the Tuya powered water shadow valve from UC Link which I bought from AliExpress and how I integrated it into Home Assistant using the Smart Life app. Uh, from there I created automations using the Akara water leak sensors that are powered by Zigbee. Today I'm going to attempt to flash task motor over the air on it and stop using the Smart Life app. You'll be asking me why, if this works okay, why would I want to do such a thing? Well, there are multiple reasons. While it's been working fine for me, I've been really happy with it and how it integrates into Home Assistant. I always look forward to try new things and putting Tasmota on it is one of them. The other is that the Smart Life app is, um, is pretty basic. You cannot do a lot of things with it. So basically I can switch it on and off. There's a timer which I can set. Remaining, it shows remaining time here. Not much. And I can integrate it into Google Assistant, IFTTT, and a few more settings here. There are no firmware updates for it. There never were any. I don't think there will be. So, while there are quite a few different uh, clones, I should say, um, on the Chinese websites that are being on sale, some of them using Tuya like this one, um, some of them using Wi-Fi. Um, well, this particular brand has, I don't know anybody who has flashed it. So I am in uncharted territory here. I'm going to try my luck. If it doesn't work, well, I may have a brick device or who knows? Well, let's try it out and see. So here I am, ready to flash. I've got the Raspberry Pi with um, the Tuya Convert already. I've got the access point here. And on the phone I'm going to reset the water valve factory settings I won't bother you with um, um, the process of building up the card on the Raspberry Pi and everything there have been so many videos done so I'm going to factory reset factory defaults There's a bit of glare here. So it has now reset because it's turned my water off. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so it's now flashing rapidly. Flashing mode now. Okay, it looks like it's flashed. see this access point, new access point, Tasmota 7730, I'm going to connect to it. And I'm back, I've managed to flash it, it took me a while because I had to try out different settings, in the end the setting that worked was the one for the Jimbu SMAW713V2 which has TPIO04 with LED1 TPIO05 configured with LED2 GPIO012 to relay 1 and GPIO013 um, to button 1 
I managed to configure it wrong and was locked out uh, interface. I was thinking, what am I going to do? But um, I managed to reset it. So you don't, if, you, if the button doesn't work, you can reset it by connecting the power, disconnecting it five times in succession and then it will it will reset so you will be able to get back to to it uh, you will see that has more access point you will connect to it and reconfigure it so this is the configuration we, you leave it with generic and just set gpio 4 gpio 5 gpio 12 and gpio 13 save it and that is it now I go to toggle and it turns off and back on I've upgraded Tasmota to the latest version 8.2.0 and last but not least I configured um, MQTT and it successfully connected to Mosquito and here I am in Home Assistant you can see it being discovered um, as sh um, well sh uh, I've renamed it Shadow Fall I'm going to change its name from switch.tasmota to switch shut off valve update shows the status at 60% oh this is the the Wi-Fi status oh, yes 60% so now I'm going to add it back to my automations with the leak sensors so that when the leak sensors detect any flooding any sign of flooding they will turn off the the valve the advantage now is that i don't send anything back to the server the tuya server wherever it is in china or in europe i have no idea so there is no communication, it can work even without internet in Tasmota, it can lo work locally and I can set its behavior so that when there's a power cut um, it will stay on afterwards, it doesn't turn off In fact the default behavior of the switch when the, the power gets cut and then it, um, turn, it is turned back on is to remain in the same position as it was if the shadow valve was turned off when the power cut happened it will remain turned off after the power is restored if it was turned on it will remain on that's perfect that's exactly what I wanted which did not happen before with um, factory software I'm really pleased with um, how things turned uh, out everything went uh, well so uh, if, you're, if you have one and you're thinking of um, flashing Tasmota on it I highly recommend it you will have a much better experience also if you have any questions any doubts feel free uh, to ask them in the comment section and I will try my best to answer it. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.